Hi everyone, it's Sherry with Blessed Bobbles. Thanks so much for coming. I'm making a little intro to this video, so the beginning is going to look a little bit different than what you'll see, but you'll understand once you start watching, okay? So we're going to pick up on the part where I'm talking about the Give Ray glass. I hope I'm saying that right. And then you're going to see all the rest of the baubles. It's quite exciting. So hang on and enjoy the video. Thanks so much. Okay, the chunky kitty is eating and I am back with the clean necklace. Now it looks like there might have been a clasp on here. I don't know. But the beads are fabulous. They're an opaque white and a clear. And they're definitely glass. And they're on like an old floss, old kind of a string, super long, and it's pretty. It does, it still needs a little bit more rinsing off, but I, it came easy, so I think it will come clean. It's still a little wet, actually. So I'm going to put this aside so it can dry, because I probably should have dried it better. Let me measure it, and you'll at least know what it looks like. It's 46 inches long, um, all glass, and pretty. It's not hand knotted, but, so I'm going to say less because it's not hand knotted. And I'll say, um, let's do 16 on that, and I'm going to dry it up and finish it a little better. This is so adorable. Come on right now probably sterling. What kind of a bead is that? With a little leaf? Oh, a cunning baby. That's so cute. The wire is a little wonky, but that's all right. We can fix that. Are you marked? It looks sterling. It's usually marked on that flat part, but Sometimes it can be somewhere else. Yeah, it might be up on that wire. So we'll have to test that, just so those who need to know if it's sterling will know. And yeah, we can fix that. So off that goes to wait for its mate. This one, I think we found the first one and now we found the second, or no? Um, there's so many turquoise colors that are coming out of here that I'm getting confused as to what we found. So I don't think we found the other one of that yet. I don't, guys, what am I going to do about this? I'm going to have to go back to my wait for your mate board because this is just too much distraction to my poor phone's camera. Okay. That's that one. I wonder if this is a Chico's. Are you a Chico's? Look kind of Chico's. My rings can get spinny because I'm so busy. So I'm so enamored with this this Larimar and the I talked about it on my last video, but it's absolutely stunning. I'm speechless. Just how they bezel set it, how they made it. It's so beautiful. I'm so happy with that. And I hope you got to purchase some of my other Larimar rings that I put up for sale. There is a couple of them left. There's the one that has the hearts underneath on the shank. At least when I'm recording this video on Sunday, February the 4th, I think, the ring is available. But if it sells in between now and when the video goes up, and you bought it, please don't think I forgot you and that I'm reselling the ring because sometimes that can happen when the video goes up later and I'll get an email like, Sherry, I bought that piece. Why are you selling it? And I'm like, it's okay, honey. The video was like put up later. Anyway, I don't see any markers, but I love those filigree little beads in between. Silver tone, chunky necklace with some iridescent beads at the end. 
It's in very good shape, lobster class. Good looking piece. It looks like it's intentionally darker here as if those pieces were tarnishing. I like it, it's pretty. And I'll say $4 on that one. Okay, a little bit more and then I'll go. Try to keep my video shorter. Trying really hard, but look at this old class. Is this a sister class? Let me see. Yes, it is. Okay. So when you open this clasp and they both open up like a real lobster claw, it's called a sister clasp. And they either say Monet on them or patent pending. And this one says patent pending. Um, I think so, patent pending. So this is an oldie. Oh, it looks like a moon glow. Isn't that sweet? It's a peach color moon glow, and there is a tag. Look at me today with all these tags. How did I get so blessed, Bobbles? Blessed Bobbles I am. I'm going to clasp this together so that we will know what it measures. Come on, baby. And it's still has the tag after all these years. That's amazing, because these are really old clasps. Isn't that sweet with the little tag and the peach color moon glow? I don't think there's much that I don't like, because everything's so new to me, and I just, I think it's all so pretty. Seven and a quarter on the measurement. Signed vintage piece, eight dollars. Awesome. This is faux stone. Love the colors. Looks like it's going to be really long because it's way in the bag. Come on, honey. Oh, boy. All right. This is what I mean about when you pull something. I'm going to put it back because I don't know what's going to happen if I pull on it. Try to get something from the top like, ooh, 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 ooh. Please tell me you're going to stretch nicely. Yes, it's beautiful. Beautiful stretch. Love this. I know it's Christmassy looking, but that's okay too. It's a glass faceted bracelet that you can have in your wardrobe. And definitely glass. And you can have it for anything. An outfit with these colors or even save it for Christmas. That's a great piece. Nice big beads. I'm going to say 10 on this. This is a nice vintage piece. Great, great shape. Wow. Okay, now we have a earring that has bows on it. Red bows. Cute. He's going to wait for his mate. And then we have the other earring. Take that back right off. That's pretty. I like the colors, the turquoise and the white. I'm sure it goes to some necklace design or something. Not big designer, but but maybe. Aren't they cute together? Oh, they really show off together. Look at you two showing off together. So cute. Looks like pretty eyes with eyelashes on the top and bottom. It's so pretty. I love these. Okay, like I say, if we find a necklace to match, we'll know in the future. But for now, these are so adorable. I'm going to say 12. Just look at those pretty babies. Okay, we found the mate. This guy is, looks like a glass bracelet, glass beaded. And it, there's no stretch, so I don't know if this is just beads. So it's going to go in our Babsy jar. Ooh, I see an earring. Beautiful little white and like peacock pearl, faux pearl earring. Wait for your mate. Now, these are sometimes good to have when you want like a leather cording to just put something on. 
it seems to be in great shape. Let's see how the chain does on this end. Pretty good. Something going on right there, like, it looks like that's where a maker's mark was hanging off. So I can take that little piece off or pinch it closed. So I'll do that with the pliers. But honestly, sometimes it's good to have one of these to hang a pendant on that you have. So I'll either put it to the side or offer it now. What should I do? Um, <laughs> look at me, I'm sticking things on there already. But yes, these are great to have. I mean, just a couple dollars, but it does feel like leather. I'll say four dollars on that. And maybe there's something that goes on it. We'll find out. It is 18 inches long. Okay, so four on a nice leather cord. What is this? What are you? Look at I'm pulling out of this box. What is that? I see tiger's eye. There's all kinds of things, beautiful things hanging from it. Isn't this fun? So much fun. And then there's another necklace that's calling us, but we have to wait. Copper findings with a name? No, no name. Okay, this one. Um, it's amazing. Maybe it's artisan made. It's copper color. It's probably copper. I mean, look at the side. It does look like it could be solid copper. But I don't know how to test the copper. The chain is also all copper. And then there's these lovely wooden beads and more tiger's eye, because that's all tiger eye around there. This, these, um, what should we call this? Um, the stones that are in the middle that look like tree bark, they are stones, they're not wood. So not sure what that is. But then we have these lovely different color wooden beads and some more of a copper color chain. There is a tag but there's no name on the tag, but there's like little stitches on it. So I'm not sure what that is, but I'll give you a measurement. This one measures 16 inches. It's quite the different piece. I probably should like screenshot it or something, but I'm just gonna say um, we'll do 12 on it. There's no maker, it's unique, and we'll see what happens. Okay, a few more. Then I'll go. Now I think we might have something sterling because if I'm getting more um, experienced and if this is how sterling smells, I can smell it. So I hope that's right. I hope I'm learning the smell of silver because I've heard other YouTubers and other jewelry people say that you know the smell of sterling. If this is all sterling and it's old, this must be quite the piece. Now, look how dark these beads are. We'll check and see what they are. And then these huge silver tone beads in between. More silver beads here. We'll see if they're sterling in a minute. And a long bar. Another long bar. So this is how it's presenting really different. The two bars and the long bar in the front. Good size beads. We'll test it and we will see what uh, Miss Percy says about the beads. I hope it's something good. They're kind of an olive color. We're definitely going into the, the green zone. <laughs> The Chrysophrase Emerald Nephrite Zone. So, since these are, I shouldn't shut that off. Since they are stones, then do we go by the color and the fact that they're opaque? Oh, they're cool. How 
Okay, so this is what they look like. It looks like a marble. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't it fun to see gemstones close up like that? So those of you that are gemologists, what is this bead? Let me find another one so we can look at the variations. Oh, nice. Oh, you know, I wonder if it's green onyx. That's what it looks like to me, but I'm not really good on gems. I'm not sure if I have time to get out my book right now, but it would be fun. So there's all of that, and you get a chance to see the gems up close. I'm trying to turn it and the variations. So I hope you're having fun with that. I know I am. My gem book is right here. Let's see what we can find for green onyx. And I'll pause my video and come back so that I don't take up your time looking for it. I'm not having a lot of success. Onyx is only listed as onyx marble in this book unless I'm missing something. Moss agate is this color, but it's more spotty. So I've done what I can, at least for this video. I'll certainly look through this more afterwards. There's some other green stones, but that's the best I can do for now because I don't want to take up too much time. But I hope you had fun looking through the book and you can see that it takes a lot more than looking up in a book or poking it with the Presidium to know what a stone is. That's why people that know about gemstones are so valuable because they just have so much knowledge about all the different stones. And just like all kinds of knowledge that we get better and we get to learn more and more about things. So let's test the end of it. And very carefully one of these beads And then I'm going to look with the loop. And I'll show you too that that's where I tested and it looks very silver underneath. Just look at the age on this. Isn't that cool? And the shape of the beads, very different. And these as well. Look at the age. This is super fun long bars of silver color beads. We'll test this bigger bead. And let's see, because it is so old that I'm having a hard time, but look how shiny that silver color is. And I know there's a controversy to people using 18 karat versus using the silver testing and I appreciate your comments on that. But I have a lot of reasons why I'm comfortable using the 18K and reasons why sometimes I want to use the silver testing. So I hope you'll trust me on that, but these are all turning very blue. This is definitely all sterling. The whole necklace is all sterling. Again! I think this is the same box that we got that British sterling piece out of. I still need to put on eBay or figure out what to do with. The other one from MAHR, I've got that necklace. Just not little tiny pieces of sterling, but very substantial. This is an old necklace with a ton of sterling. And maybe it's got a higher sterling a silver count. Someone also said to test on the white rock, which I do have one. So maybe just to show that I do have all these tools and I do understand them, maybe I'll get that one out. Because I am a little bit curious as to whether this tests a higher silver content or not. Well, maybe we'll just do that. Bring out the white stone. I hate to bother the necklace again. We'll choose the same place that we did already. 
because I can kind of, I can take my polishing rag and I can blend that in to where it won't show. Now, I've never used the white stone before. I'm not even seeing it on there. But let's go with it. Now, on the white stone, I can see the, like the tarnish and then the silver coming off. So, oh, now I see it. All right, let's try the silver tester because this is supposed to come off a certain color red. I don't like to say the word because it might make some people not feel good. And if it does come up a very deep red, it'll be a higher silver content, I believe. Now, just so you know, I'm trying to get the Q-tip out of the cup. Come on, baby. We need to get done here. And this is real life for blessed bottles. <laughs> All right. You gotta laugh. Because if you don't, then you won't laugh. So this is... It's turning a reddish. See, it's not easy. Um, could have a solution that's too old. It does turn a reddish color, though. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think it turns at all if it's not. And then we've got the... Um, what do you call it? We have the tarnish that we have to deal with. So let me try again. And not be shy. We already know it turned very blue on the, with the 18K. Where'd it go? Here it is. Let me see, do I have another bottle of this? No, so this is one of my newer ones. Try that. Other side of Q-tip. I just don't know. It's like picking up the tarnish. So I'm sorry, I thought that would be fun. I didn't want to waste anyone's time and I'm sure there'll be doubts whether it's silver, but I don't doubt it's silver. And I will take this to the jeweler and have them like x-ray it in the machine so they can tell me for sure, and they'll tell me the content of silver as well. Because that's a lot of silver, and I don't even know what to make of this piece. It's We have to find out the stone and all that weight of silver. I just can't, I can't give up. I'm sorry, I just, I gotta do this. So we're on the white stone again, and I put some on the black stone as well. And you know what I did? I squeezed the bottle and I got rid of that little puddle of solution that was sitting on the top because it just looked like a different color. I'm going to even squirt a little bit more out. All right, let's see if this does anything else. A little bit there. Let's see, because I want to save room for the other one too, the, the 18K. New Q-tip. It's already turning red on the plate. And there's our red. Okay, we did it. I know it's silver. I know it is. And look how really red it is. So that's what I'm saying. I'm wondering if it's a higher silver content because look at that dark, dark red. All right, I'm glad I stuck with it because that's why people have a controversy with this. You can test something with some patina on it and you can really not think it's sterling or you can think, well, someone should use one solution or another. And that is so red, I can't even believe it. One more time, folks. And while we're at it, whoops, I need to rub this one that's on the black stone not that the color of the background makes any difference but there we go again 
And then if I can fit a little bit of the 18K on the other side, one for the Gipper, spread it around a little. So there you go. There's the silver tester and the blue from the 18K. And that's how it goes. So fun. Thank you for hanging in there. I hope that was a fun lesson. And maybe I can take this little bit of video and make a another video out of it about testing silver. Because there is a lot to it. All right, those go aside. And after all that gabbing and stuff, this goes aside. But we really learned a lot. Please let me know what you think the stone is. I'll keep studying. And I'll take this and see how much of a silver content. Because I think it's pretty high. And I told you I could smell a silver smell. And that has to be from an older piece that is a higher silver content. Because, yes, I'm just getting more experience. And it's so much fun. So, so fun. Okay, what have we got? A few more things. Okay. Made in Czech Republic, really? Whoa. Made in Czech Republic, and it's got this beautiful bead on the end. Gold tone. Look at the end cap, isn't that so beautiful? I love that color. Class. I don't know if you can hear, but my heater or something is like, right now it's like this really high-pitched thing. I'm, I'm thinking it's a bracelet. How pretty does it get? I have no idea what to charge on that from Czech Republic. I don't want to say something and upset people and, oh, she charges too much. But at the same time, it's from Czech Republic, so we know it's Czech glass. It's beautiful. The findings and chain are gorgeous. Why don't I say 20? And like anything else, you all know me very well. If the price isn't right, I will figure it out because I'll be researching it. And if the price is right, it'll be gone in 10 minutes. So there we go with that one. It does look a little bit on the big side, like it could be on the ankle. Oh yeah, it's gone right off the almost right off the bracelet measure, which goes to nine inches. So I'd say it goes to almost nine inches. So beautiful. I can't wait to hear from you on that. I'll have to stop the video and I thought this bag would go quickly, but it's so interesting that I think we're going to have a couple more videos out of it. Now, you probably wonder why am I fussing with this. I always clasp the necklace at the end of the extender because if not, the little extender whips around and tangles things. So we have quite the gorgeous pink and violet. It's very cold in my hand, so I'm thinking it's probably glass. And then we have these gemstones here that are faceted. What's that? That's probably from me holding tight that other necklace. So they're like almost a lilac color at the bottom. Pinks and then an opaque pink. The chain is lovely. I love that they put nice condition in here and we haven't found any broken junk. Look at this. Look at the condition. So no maker, but quite the beautiful, lovely piece. I was watching someone recently. I watched so many things to keep up on stuff that I can't remember who it was, but they said that the statement necklaces, yes, it's glass, were being sold in the big stores and they have not gone away. They are still a big thing. So that was cool to know. They said, don't discount the statement necklaces. And if that was you and you're watching, please let me know because I want you to have credit for that. So here we go. Can you see that little bit of purple color and all those other colors? Very pretty. It moves very nicely. Um, these pieces are not all hooked together in sections, you know, so it moves beautifully. It would fall on the body nicely on 
what is that spot called? It has a fancy name where nexuses can fall, although this is a longer piece. Okay, come on, Sherry. You do love what you do, but you gotta get going. Measures 16 inches and another three or four extender. Beautiful. I'll say $10. I don't know if you can beat that. But if you can, let me know. Very nice. Okay, probably about at an hour right now. Is there anything screaming at me at the top other than that incredible sterling piece? And the craft jar has like two pieces in it. So I don't know what we're gonna do about that. Yes, this is screaming at me. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry if I'm yelling, I don't mean to yell. But wow, it looks like we have more Indian pieces in here and you guys just, I must have got 30 emails for the Indian jewelry. Wow. Okay, hold on baby because this baby has got to be looked at. And is it two pieces? Oh my, what's happening? All I know is there's lots of jewels and gems here. These are gorgeous. And I remember the last time these tested as a gemstone. These are in glass. And these are in glass, and these are in glass, okay. So I'm not figuring out, oh, there it goes, it came apart. What a goofy goof. <laughs> All right, and this is how you adjust the necklace. All glass, really pretty. Nice and heavy. The cording, again, looks new. And you slide this up and down to adjust it. So I'll say $8 on that piece. It longest point would be 32 inches, very longest. So yummy cha-chas on that. And then this piece looks like a choker type piece. It's a little bit more worn. Well, it's a lot more worn, kind of frayed. Rhinestones, faux pearls. This probably should go in the craft jar. Yeah, I think. It's very interesting, though. And those are prong set, I believe. Yeah, they are. Maybe I should take a second look. I don't know. They are glass, which is nice. How about we just see if it's magnetic? Yes, it is. All right, in our craft jar, in our babs. And then we have red, white, and blue star earring. I'm gonna put that in the craft. We have this very cool dangly earring. Are you gonna behave? They're nice, heavy glass pearls. Okay, this is reminding me of something else we opened. But this is nice quality. wonder if these are gold filled. So wait for your mate. And another wait for your mate. And what can we sign off with? Um, something that I don't have to say. I don't know what it is. <laughs> because... You know, it takes the research for all those other pieces. Okay, come on, pretty babes. So much fun stuff in here. Look at the earrings coming out. Oh my. All right, I don't mind this one. That's cute. It's a little pin thing. And another earring. A ship on... Oh, it is signed in there, too. I have no idea what it says, because the pin is right on top of it. But I can see an FTS at the end. F like Frank, T like Tom, S like Sam. Does anyone know what that is? It's pretty. We've got some faux stone. 
another really cool brass looking chain. Wow, look at that. <gasps> wow. All right, I think I'm going to have to save these for next time. This guy looks super old with the hook on it. And it's signed. So we'll just finish with this. And look at that earring. Oh my gosh. Snowflake obsidian on the top. The bottom, I don't know. Maybe on brass. I can't stand it. I have to know. It's definitely a gemstone. Don't know. It's registering like onyx or something. Snowflake obsidian. Wow. So pretty. And this really old little babe. It's signed. I don't know. It is old. Japan. Maybe it says Japan. I just, I hate to keep you like this. I'll have to clean it so I can read it better because it's old. All right, hard as it is, we'll look at this last one and sign off. We have this incredible, I, what do I say about this chain? Oh my gosh. It's like little blocks of um, rectangular pieces wrapped by another chain that's like a gold tone. We have this incredible box clasp that works terrifically. Don't see any marks on it. It is magnetic. It's beautiful. What a different, different piece. Quite the different jewelry. I don't want to mess anything up, so I like to be super careful putting it back in. Make sure it doesn't go this way. Yes, so see why I go slow. So thank you for your patience. See that? I could have jammed it in there if I was trying to be so fast. But that's all I can say about this, is it's heavy. And stunning has the gold and the dark metal incredibly fancy clasp it's 24 inches long and I don't see a name no name at all so I'm gonna say let's do $20 on this piece that's all I can tell you about it all right, it's a longer necklace, and we'll do 20. I cannot tell you how hard it is to stop right now and to put these things back in the bag, but I am really dedicated to opening the things with you all. I really am. Here's that other earring. So if someone fell in love with that, they would be emailing me saying, that earring that was at timestamp whatever who be whaty, can I buy those when you find the other one? <laughs> and it's just really gets confusing. Now, I love you for that. I don't criticize anyone for that, but it's much easier for me to find them both right now and just tell you what the price is going to be. Stunning. Oh, my goodness. Little crystals around the outside and the bottom in like a cobalt blue. I don't know if this is some kind of reconstituted stone in the middle. I think not. I think it's Testing's glass. Quite the beautiful. Really pretty color. Oh, I mean, what do you say? We'll test the wires. They are not magnetic, but I'm not going to bother them. If you need to know if they're silver, let me know. Like if you have to wear sterling or gold filled or something. But I will say 15 on these. They are so pretty. Great weight to them. Good quality. And that's it, folks. I have to... 
I did price this, so that goes over in the priced portion. I'm going to put these back that we did not figure out. I'm going to put this in the craft jar. And those are all wait for your mates. I'm sure they're going to be in here. Oh, I can't even tell you how much. Let me just give you a peek. All right, you have to come back. Click the um, bell so you'll be notified because look at the things I have in this bag. Really pretty, right? This looks like that shell. Definitely shell. Sparklies. Lots of cool stuff. We have a lot of fun to still have with this bag. And whatever that is, that's a cool looking thing. So come on back. I'm hoping that is um, onyx. I think so. So this was priced. So now I've got to make my thumbnail. Turn off Miss Prissy. And you know what? I didn't price this, did I? Because we were waiting. It is a Chico's bracelet. Um, and I'll say 10 on this. Really good shape. Really good shape. So let me put it back here. And I always go out with showing you how I start my thumbnail. Although I'll fuss with it for like 20 minutes or more. And last but not least, remind you how to purchase. Email me at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. And please leave me these four pieces of information, or I will, in a, such a loving way, say to you, can you please give me whatever piece you left out? So the video name is right under the title. The video name is the title, I'm sorry. The episode number, if you can't see that, just click on the title, and you'll see the episode number. The timestamp, of course, just push your pause button and it'll be the stamp on the left, not on the right. Brief description of the pieces you love and the prices that I gave. Okay, thank you very much. If you're very first time here, I hope you like the video. I hope you love the jewelry and I hope you'll come back and subscribe. Okay, so hit the like button on the way out if you liked it and I'll look for you in the comments and I can't wait to get your emails. So thanks so much, and we'll see you next time. Come on, thumbs up. See you next time at the Bobbles. Bye.